In today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to go up a curb. In the last video, we taught you how to normally go off a curb. So now we're going to teach you how to go on a curb. And who wants to go first? I can. Okay, Eric will demonstrate how to go first. Say so you, you kind of want to like, in the, la in the last video we taught you how to do it, you kind of just want to bring your scooter up by like pushing like this. And then go like that, and then you can be on the curb. Yeah, so he's trying to explain you plant, and then you push up, and then go like that. And then yeah. you can keep on riding. And then you can get better at it if you practice more. Yeah, and so put your foot down, and you want to lift up with your hands. Just lift your handlebars up, and your whole scooter will go up. And then just push onto the curb. It's the same instructions as the last wheel, but you're basically just doing the opposite so, of how you do it. You, this same is how you, same instructions, but you're doing like the opposite. You're doing the same thing, but you just do it the opposite way, going up and down. Yeah. Now I'm gonna show you how you do it normally. You do it just like this. That's what it looks like in full speed, but. It's really about lifting your handlebars up. You want to be able to grab your handlebars nice and tight so you can lift it up and then bring your scooter onto the curb. And even if you go here, then you can still push off the curb. Okay. okay so, sorry about that pause there. Um, as I was saying, even if you're right here, you can still push off with your foot to keep going, but you really want to try to get it all in one motion. I see this happen a lot with some other people that I like scooting with. Instead of going fully up like this, instead, they would go like this and then get their scooter stuck and then have to do that. Sometimes I do it, but I just finish doing it, but try not to do that. Yeah, Eric will demonstrate the motion fully. Okay, and so, it's all with your foot in your hands. You wanna lift up and then push off with your foot that's still on the ground. Or you can do it how Eric and Elliot do it. And they go like this, and they put off, and then they bring their foot on the curb right after and push off. So those are just two ways you can do it. And then Eric and Elliot will both demonstrate the full way to do it again. Okay. And so, and if you're not comfortable with falling on the concrete, if you're not comfortable falling on the concrete, which may look something like this, then you can always move it over to a grassy curb, and we'll show you what that looks like as well, so you can practice getting better at it. Okay, so we have a grassy curb. Right over here, it's just it could be some grass over it. So this is if you're not comfortable falling on the concrete, or you just want to practice on a grassy curb instead. Because yeah. So Elliot will go now. So Elliot, go ahead, go. So that's what it looks like. And so. So when you bunny hop, well you're not actually bunny hopping, but when you are going up a curb normally, then you wanna You still want to do the same steps, but you can't push off and keep riding because it's grass and it's hard to ride on. And Elliot will demonstrate falling on the grass. Go ahead. Yeah, so, well, he did fall off at the end. I don't know if you could see that, but he did. Um, now Eric will do the same thing. Falling. Thank you. And 
So do you guys want to try to explain it to them too? And then any ways that you guys do it? Because you guys do it a little bit different than I do. So, so you kind of don't want to like have your back wheel like this. And so only sometimes you can keep on riding like this. But so, most of the time you can't. So, what I did was, instead of pushing after, I just let myself fly because when I, because when I pushed up, I also gave myself some speed, so that's when I didn't have to push. Yes, and the key part is really not getting the rest of your scooter stuck like this, so you or fall. like this, and so you can keep riding, and you really you just want to push off with this foot on the ground. You can either have it up on the curb, which is a bit harder, or you can keep it on the ground like most people do, and I do that too. So you keep it on the ground, and you just want to push push off and make sure you get all the way up. So now Eric and I will demonstrate and tell you a little bit more. So you go like this, that's how Sierra said, and then... Um, whatever foot you feel more comfortable with, because some people feel comfortable doing this foot, some people feel comfortable doing this foot, so whatever foot you're more comfortable with, do that foot. Don't yeah. push off with that foot. Like, I just want to say, think... side, I just want to say it's actually good if you fall. That means you're trying really hard and trying to challenge yourself on yeah. things. Yeah, you're going out of your comfort zone, which means you're trying something new, and you just have to keep practicing if you fall if you don't fall then that's fine but if you do end up falling over or anything like that that means you're either trying something new or you messed up and you can learn from your mistakes always i'm gonna try to do another fall like that yeah just like that <laughs> some people like to go really fast and then they just get their back i'm um, like their back this stuff and then they and then they go like this and then fall. Yeah, so you really want to make sure this is like a key part. You want to push off with the foot back on the ground and get your scooter all the way up without having your back wheel stuck. And it's okay if you fall, especially on the grass, because it will hurt less. And, um, and then you can also... Oh, wow. Keep riding if your back wheel doesn't get stuck, but if it does, you have a low chance to keep riding. Afterwards. Yeah, you can fall, and some lucky people can keep riding or just stay on like a little laughter, like right here. Uh, I'm sorry about this, but the trash can's coming. Trash truck is coming, so we're gonna have to pause this video just for one sec. All right, so the trash truck is gone now, so we can continue the video. What were we saying? Oh yes. So we were saying. Like, if you're going way too fast, you can, like, fall easier, kind of. Yeah, you can fall easier, and you don't want to fall. I mean, you want to fall if you're trying hard, but you also don't want to fall because you want to get better at it. So, Eric and I will go. So, first off, you might start off slow so you don't fall. Yeah, go at your own pace. Yes, and then the more you do it, the faster that you can go. Now, Ellie will do it. Yeah, I've been practicing a lot. now demonstrate going up a curve and it's really all about practicing right guys i mean you guys have been practicing for not as long as i have and you're already getting pretty good at this so let's have eric demonstrate eric do you want to demonstrate yes i can demonstrate so um some people want to start off slow in their comfort zone and then they go faster and faster and Eric will demonstrate one more time. Okay. Good job. Sorry there's dogs barking. Okay, nobody cares. Um, so, and what you really want to do is just practice the motions that we've been talking about. When you plant and then 
you push up and you just basically go over. It's all about having your handlebars up because sometimes people sometimes people don't put their handlebars all the way up and it looks like this. Either like that or like this or something like that and they fall. So Eric and I will all demonstrate once and and then all we can really tell you is to keep practicing that. Also, and you'll get better with time. Also, you can just practice doing this if you want to just practice a tiny bit. And then you can maybe do this. And then after you can try to do it out from a... You can either do it the same thing a couple times. Or you can try to get a little bit more speed like you can Yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to demonstrate and wrap this video up. try to fall even though falling is kind of good sometimes yeah because you know if you fall you're kind of pushing yourself out of your comfort zone so i'm gonna fall good job and so all you can do is keep practicing and that's all we can tell you and i hope this video taught you something and how to go off the curb and you just keep practicing and you can accomplish anything if you try all right, that's all for now. Bye, guys. Bye. I was there when he did someone who wasn't getting over you. When I move to the side, when I move, call your mind, and I know what you're feeling. I'ma take it for a ride. Let me take it off your mind, cause you know it's a season. Taking night, but taking is all that I'll do, cause yeah, I let you.